Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back! And I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. So, so, oh my god, this is my first video since my reveal for my collaboration with Odin's Eye. So this is the Hummingbird palette. It's my palette. I came up with the color story. Of course, we're using the Odin's Eye formulation, and they put their foot in this formulation, okay? You're gonna see some new formulas that you haven't seen from them before, and I think they did such a great job pulling this palette together, as well as the other two palettes that are included in in this collection. The entire collection with all three palettes is called the Legendary Diversa Collection and I love that because the goal of Odin's Eye with this collaboration was to bring together three very diverse creators from different backgrounds, different cultures, different ethnicities, and they wanted us to create our individual palettes to reflect that diversity. And I think we were definitely able to accomplish that, and we're showing the range that Odin's Eye has as far as their formulation goes, from their mattes to their multi-combs, their duochromes, their shimmers. We created three diverse color stories with some top-notch formulas, and there is no pressed glitter in any of these palettes, which I am absolutely elated about. So we have the Red Dragon palette from Judy. Definitely check out Judy. She created this beautiful, more neutral lean-in palette with a pop of red and a pop of light green. And these shimmers are absolutely stunning. They are gorgeous. And she has tons of mattes to work with. And I think this would be a great everyday palette if you were more into subdued color stories. We also have the Giant Wolves palette with Annette's Makeup Corner. Definitely check out Annette as well. Annette is into color like me. She's bold. She loves indie makeup and she loves her bright looks. And Annette created this very beautiful, grungy, colorful palette. That's what I would say. It has more muted, colorful shades, and it has some beautiful duochromes and multichromes. We want to call them multichromes because honestly, these are multichromes. They're so gorgeous, and she has tons of mattes in here as well. And this is also a very beautiful color story. Now, Annette is going to do tons of looks, and so is Judy. We are actually releasing these videos on the same day so you guys can get an idea of the looks that you can create from these palettes. So, of course, I am going to show you looks using my Hummingbird palette, which is more on the colorful side. This is definitely the most colorful of the three palettes, but if you're a little bit afraid of color, I'm telling you right now, this palette can still work out great for you. You can use it as a pairing palette and pull out your pops of color from this palette. Here, this look that I created, which is one of the five looks, is a more smoky purple look. And it's not a complicated look, but it's so eye-catching, I absolutely love it. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five looks that I created with my palette. But before I get into the looks, I'm gonna leave timestamps down below so you can jump around to whichever look you want to see. Maybe you wanna replicate it when you get this palette. Oh, the launch date again is September 20th. So I have a quick but very important update for the launch date and time. The launch date is Monday, September 20th, but it is launching at midnight Swedish time, which is actually six hours ahead of us here in New York. So the actual launch date ends up being September 19th, which is this Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for those of us in the U.S. and the equivalent Pacific Standard Time is 3 p.m. So again, it's Sunday, September 19th, this Sunday coming up, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it's a little bit tricky because that midnight release time on Monday kind of switches the date for us here in the US to Sunday. So Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it's later in the day. You don't have to wake up early, but still set your alarms, okay? So 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can get your hands on this palette. And again, the palette is going to retail for 27.90 euros, which roughly 
translates to like $32 USD in case you're interested and you also get the included silk scarf and that scarf is limited edition it is only included with a purchase of the palette so you can only get it that way you can't buy it individually but really I'm excited for some of you guys to get your hands on this palette like I said there are tons of quantities available so don't fret you should be able to get your hands on this but I want to see the looks that you guys create I want to see what you think about the palette like play around with it and let me know and I want to see the looks so definitely tag me in them now before we get into the five looks I did want to say a major 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 thank you to you guys you guys really came out and showed up I kind of expected the support because you guys have always been supportive the fancy fam is supportive as hell but I did not expect as much support as I got it was it was it, it is it is okay it is overwhelming I don't know what to do I'm low-key like happy crying in the shower I'm just like I can't I can't believe it it's it has been such a fun journey so far and it's just begun so I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so 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 much and I've been trying to definitely like each of the comments as I read them because I'm reading through all the comments and I thank you guys for such kind words they're so sweet like I said you guys always show up and you always make me feel so loved and I read <laughs> No, I mean, you guys, the support is so appreciated and I thank you so, so much. I can't respond to everyone, so please don't take it personally. I'm trying to respond as much as I can, but it's a lot, so take this as my personal thank you. Thank you so much for your kind words. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. I also wanted to say thank you to the Odin's Eye team, specifically Henji, who is the person that I was working with this entire time. They were such a joy to work with, like really quick responses. All my feedback was taken into account. Like any tweaks that I needed were done. Like it was such a pleasure. And the product, I mean, speaks for itself. Like look at this, it, it couldn't have turned out any better and I wanted to thank Henji. Henji, thank you so much. It was so great working with you and we're definitely going to keep in touch so don't think we're going anywhere but I did want to give a personal thank you to Henji. And another person I wanted to thank is Amy from Amy Loves Makeup. I know you guys are probably like what? Amy was actually the catalyst for me working with Odin's Eye. So I had tweeted about their Norns collection because I've received PR from them before with their older collections, but they weren't really my vibe because they were more muted, more neutral palettes, more like red tone palettes. And I'm like, mm, I want some color. I want to see blues. I want to see greens. I want to see purples. Like I want to see color. And I didn't see that until their Norns collection, which is my favorite collection from them so far until this palette right here and this collaboration with the other two creators. This is not my favorite collection because I think they really outdid themselves. But the Norns collection is also fantastic. So I was like, oh my God, I want to try it out. Should I shoot my shot and reach out to Odin's eye? You know, that's what I tweeted. And Amy actually reached out to them on my behalf. She didn't ask. She just went ahead and did it and they reached out to me and said hey Amy said we should reach out to you we weren't sure you liked our products but we definitely want to send you the Norns collection and that was all thanks to Amy and I have thanked Amy in DMs we've gone back and forth she's really sweet she is a darling and I want you guys to go ahead and show her some love I will link her channel down below and also over here go over there and shout her out like let her know I sent you let her know that we thank her for getting this moving and going because because I am so excited for this collaboration and it wouldn't have happened necessarily without Amy. So thank you, Amy. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the five looks that I have created using this palette. We are gonna do simple looks, more complicated looks, and some of these looks you've already seen because I filmed these when I got the palette and I was playing around with it. I filmed these looks for the campaign so they could use it on the models. So you're going to see the looks, how I created them, so you can hopefully replicate them yourself and enjoy using my palette. So let's go ahead and jump into my five looks using the Hummingbird palette from Odin's Eye times the Fancy Face. 
So let's go ahead and start off with the look that I am calling the signature look of this palette. It is the look that is featured in the design on the cover of the palette as well as in the silk scarf that is included when you purchase this palette. It is also the look that I was wearing in my reveal video. It is a very simple and easy look to recreate so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Of course, I am starting off with eyes prepped and primed and ready to go and my brows filled in. And we're going to start out with the first shade, which is clear blue. This is the matte sky blue shade. Now, this shade is a little bit harder pressed because of the embossing. So I'm going to apply this to my inner tear duct and inner lid. And I'm also pulling that upwards onto my inner crease area and creating a wash of color. And like I said, this color is a little bit more hard pressed, so I'm going to build up the pigmentation and just layer it up until I get the desired intensity. Next I'm going into the shade Feathers which is this shimmery lime green. It is such a stunning shade. This is one of the standout shades in the palette and I love this shade because it can apply really intensely if you use like a finger or a sticky primer or you use it damp but you can also apply it to give a wash of color and it will give you more of a satin look rather than a high shine finish. So I'm using the same brush to apply this color to the center of the lid and the outer lid and I'm just going to go ahead and blend around the edges using a blender brush from Sonia G. This is the soft concealer brush. You can use it for blending and it's great because it's a stiffer blending brush so it really helps to blend out the edge of the color. Now I'm going to do something a little bit extra and add the shade Star Apple which is the dark purple shade. I'm going to add that to my brows and if you look carefully on the image that's on the cover, the brows are purple to match my purple hair. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the start of my brow and work it through using a flat top brush and my spoolie just to fade it out. And I think it actually gives a beautiful look to the brows. I might need to go ahead and do this more with this color. This is my favorite matte color in the palette. It's a beautiful shade and it works well to deepen up looks as well as you see now to use in the brows. And then to finish up the look, I'm just going to go in with a matte vanilla highlight shade under my brow. This palette doesn't have a go-to highlight shade. This is a shade that you'll have to pull from your own collection just like using a blending shade. This is meant to be a pairing palette rather than a standalone palette. And that's going to finish up the look. I popped on lashes and mascara as well as an orangey red lip. I will leave the details down below but this replicates the look on the palette itself and I absolutely love it. I really love how these two shades just come together to create this beautiful soft look. It's ethereal but it's still very eye-catching and if you're afraid of color I think this is a great look for you guys to try out. Alright the next look up is one that you guys asked a lot of questions about and I am happy to share it now. So this is also a very simple look to create but as you can see it's very eye-catching, it's beautiful and it incorporates a a pop of color on the inner tear duct. So to start out this look, I'm going to grab the shade Fancy. I am telling you guys, this shade is stunning. So I'm using a shader brush from Sonia G just to pop that on the lid. I'm not applying this damp, I'm applying this just directly onto a sticky base and it picks up really well. If you really want to intensify the color though, you can use your finger or you can use your brush damp. It's like a multi-chrome with pink and lime and teal. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Hummingbird, which is the namesake of the palette. And we're going to apply this next to that shade on the outer lid area. And this is a little bit of a chunkier shade, so you do have to press this color on. And I'm using a shader brush. Again, I'm not even using this damp. I'm just pressing it on. It doesn't fall out a lot on your face, but it's just a little bit chunkier. And you do have to build it up to get the opacity. And then I will go in with the deep purple shade again, Star Apple. And I'm going to apply this very lightly to my outer V and outer crease using a small blending brush. And I'm not applying too much of this color. I just want to add a little bit of depth. And I'll just blend out the edges to make sure it's nice and diffused. Then we're going to pick up the shade Feathers again. Remember, this is a bright lime green. And I'm going to pop that on the inner tear duct using a small dome blending brush. And this shade is really going to look great against the fancy shade and pull out some of that green reflect. 
and then I'm going to grab the shade Star Apple again and apply it to my lower lash line. Again, I love this color for deepening up looks and adding to the lower lash line or outer V. So here you have it guys, that's the final look. I popped on again my lashes and mascara to finish up the look and tie everything together. And I also applied black liner this time on my lower waterline. Again, this look was really simple and easy to create, but I think it's very eye-catching as well. into a blue look. You guys know I had to do a blue look. Blue is my favorite color and I have some great blues in this palette. So we're gonna start out with the shade Clara Blue again. I love the shade as an accent shade on the inner tear duct and it also works well as a blending shade. So I'm gonna apply that pretty intensely on my inner tear duct using a stiff shader brush and just press it on to build up the pigmentation. And then I'll grab the shade Lagoon. This shade, wait till you see it guys. This is like a cream to powder deep navy blue. I'm going to apply this to my outer V using that blending brush from Sonia G again. Now you'll see that as this color blends out, it fades into this beautiful turquoise blue and I love that. It is such a stunning shade. It can be a one and done color because it blends out and fades into a color that looks like a second shade. Then I'm going to grab the shade Blue Feels. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys that Blue Feels represents the beaches in Jamaica. There's this row of beaches that I used to go to and it was called Blue Feels. Love this shade, but it's a shimmery, sparkly blue and I love it. And I apply that just to the outer lid area to blend in with that deep blue. Next we're going in with Tropics. This is such a stunning shade as well and I'm gonna pop that on the middle of the lid where we left a little bit of space and I'm just pressing that on using the shader brush again just to build up the pigmentation. This is such a stunning shade and it applies so well and it ties in really well with the blues. And of course I'm grabbing the shade Feathers again. I feel like this is one of my go-to shades in the palette and I'm just gonna use that in the crease area to blend out the edges of the colors. And again, remember I said this can translate as more of a satin shade so it really works well to give you a pop of color in the crease and I'll go back in with the deep blue shade to build up dimension again and I'm gonna go back in with the green again just to make sure that we're creating that beautiful gradient you can see it even looks like there's a little bit of yellow there but that's just from the green and blue merging together and I'll go ahead and clean up the outer edges of this look using a makeup wipe and I'm creating a nice crisp line. On the lower lash line, I'm gonna grab the shade Hummingbird on a flat shader brush and just apply that to my outer lower lash line. Again, a beautiful sparkly purple. And of course, I'm grabbing the shade Fancy and I'll pop that on the inner lower lash line. And that really pulls the look together and I think all these shades look so beautiful on the eyes. For my lower waterline, I'm using a dark blue liner this time just to tie all the blues together. And here you have it guys, that's the final look. And this has got to be one of my favorite blue looks that I've created. The blues just work so well together with the teals and the green. I just think it's so stunning. And I just paired it with a very simple pink gloss. Nothing too extreme. And I think it came together beautifully. So let me know what you guys think of this bright blue look. Look number four, 
before is one of my favorite looks that I've done with this palette and it's a look that I got so many questions about when I wore it in a video and posted it on Instagram. It's such a stunning look but I couldn't say anything. I couldn't tell you what I was wearing because I was wearing this palette and I think this look is stunning. I'm calling it my tropical sunset look. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna start out with the nudie shade in the palette. This is Beach Sands. It's a shimmery tan shade and it is stunning. I'm gonna apply this to the inner half of my lid using a shader brush and this color again builds up really nice. You can use it as just a wash of color all over the lid because it's a beautiful tan shade. And then I'm gonna grab the shade Swallowtail which is a muted orange shade and this you can also use very sparingly, very lightly. So I'm gonna pop that on the center of the lid moving out towards the outer lid using the same shader brush. And these shades melt together to go from tan to a light orange. Then we're gonna grab the shade Hibiscus. This is one of the most versatile shades in the palette. I know you're like red, oh my god, how's that versatile? But it really blends out well with the other shades in the palette. And I'm just gonna use this shade to create a wash of red pink in the outer V and outer crease ear. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of this right next to the orange that we have on the lid. Now I'm gonna grab, again, another one of my favorite shades, Star Apple. This shade is so great to build up dimension. So I'm gonna grab this shade and I'm gonna pop this on my outer V using a smaller blending brush. Now this shade is intense, it is really rich, so you just want to build it up slowly. So I'm going slowly to build up the dimension that I want and I'm just blending it into the red that we applied in the crease. And I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the red shade and pop it next to the purple so we create like a little sandwich and I'll go in and build up the orange as well so we create that sunset effect. And I created like a light wash of these shades before so I could go in and build it up once I created the base of the look. And I'll go back in and just blend around the edges to make sure everything is nice and faded and blended. And I'm gonna go into the shade Lagoon which is the deep blue and pop that on my outer lower lash line with a flat shader brush and I'm gonna also grab the shade blue feels which is a shimmery blue and pop that on my inner lower lash line and I think those two blues together on the lower lash line really set off this tropical sunset look because we have the ocean on the bottom and then the sunset at the top so I finished up the look with black liner and mascara and lashes of course so here you have it here is the final look and I think it's so stunning. It's such a beautiful look. And now you guys know how I created it since some of you were asking questions and you wanted me to do the tutorial. So here you have it. So the final look we're gonna do in this video is the one that I was wearing in the introduction. Again, this is a very simple look to create and it's very easy and I think it makes color very wearable. So I think it's a look that you guys should definitely try out. So I'm gonna start out with the shade Hibiscus, which is the matte red shade. I told you this shade is very versatile. I'm going to go ahead and buff this in my crease area and outer V using a large blending brush just to get a wash of color. This is going to be kind of our transition blending shade in the outer V. going to grab the shade Star Apple. I told you this is kind of one of my favorite shades in the palette and it's great for deepening up looks. So I'm gonna grab this and build it up on my outer V and blend it out to create depth and dimension in that outer crease area. And now let's 
let's go in with the shade Hummingbird. This is a beautiful shimmery duochrome purple, and I'm gonna first apply just a light wash of this color. This color is again one of the chunkier shades, so it can apply pretty sheerly. So what I'm gonna do next is dampen my brush, just to pick up a little bit more intensity from that shade and really amp up the shimmer. And I'm just gonna blend it all over my lid, just avoiding the inner tear duct. For the inner tear duct, I'm going to use the shade Fancy. This is a beautiful shade. Again, it works well with the greens and blues, but it also works well with the purples. So I'm gonna apply that to the inner tear duct area and build it up and blend it into the purple that we have on the crease. And I'll go ahead and finish up my face and pop all my lashes and mascara before we finish up the look, which I am going to go ahead and grab Star Apple on a flat shader brush and apply it to my lower lash line. That will again add some depth and dimension on that outer lower lash line and also tie in the outer V to the rest of the look. Now I'll go back in with the shade Fancy and pull it a little bit further on my inner tear duct and blend it out. I just want that shade to really pop on that inner tear duct and I'll just blend it out to make sure it's seamless. And now I'll just pop on a light pink lip gloss and that's it. Here's the final look which was really simple to create. It's a beautiful purple smoky look and I think it came together so well. These shades work so well together and as you can see from the other looks there's so much variety that you can create from this palette. looks that I created so far using this palette and I've actually used like individual shades in other looks because this can also be a companion palette you can mix it in with your other makeup like that's the fun of makeup anyway right to use your collection mix and match and get fun looks so this is a great pairing palette as well and I've used like the purple shade especially to deepen up looks I really love that and the red shade as well it's great for blending out edges of colors so I really love this palette. I'm really enjoying it. You're gonna see more looks coming up, of course. It's my palette, I'm gonna use it. But I wanted to definitely share these five looks so you guys can see the inspiration behind the palette, see how all the colors work together, and hopefully get inspired to create your own looks if you choose to pick this palette up. Again, the launch date is September 20th, which is Monday, coming up, and it launches at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I can't wait to see what you guys think and I can't wait to see your looks. So definitely again, tag me in the looks. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter as well in the description box where you can follow me along. And until my next video, thank you guys again for all the support. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!